always tracking, always alerting. This is Storm Team 8. We have a cool weekend ahead of us. It's going to feel a bit more like January, unfortunately, than the end of March. Looking at regional temperatures, you'll notice we have that light blue color well off to our northwest, but it's that same air mass that's going to be settling into West Michigan. So that cold air is going to be sinking in, and by the time we head into tomorrow and into Sunday, that's when we're going to start to feel those really cold temperatures as that core of cold air officially makes it into West Michigan. So over the next 24 hours, we'll make it to the mid 40s this afternoon, then slide back to around 30 degrees tonight, and we will see a chance of some showers move back in. 37, that's all we're going to see tomorrow afternoon. 32 on Sunday. We have a chance of seeing some light snow showers through the day Saturday. And Sunday, looks like we could see a few flurries, especially in the morning, but much of the daytime hours look dry. Now, winds tomorrow are going to come in around 10 to 20 miles per hour. So our actual air temperatures will be in the mid to upper 30s, but your feels like temperatures are going to stay in the 20s through a lot of the day. In Grand Rapids right now, we have mostly cloudy conditions, although we have been able to see a few breaks for sunshine here and there. Looking at satellite imagery, you'll notice that areas along and west of 131 especially are seeing some more breaks in that layer of cloud cover overhead. It's fairly clear over Lake Michigan right now, but over Wisconsin, we have more clouds that are going to be pushing their way in shortly, and that's all associated with the cold front that's going to be moving through. So over the next couple of hours, not impossible that we could see a sprinkle or two. And then as we head into the afternoon, later afternoon, early evening, that's when rain showers are forecast to become a bit more widespread across West Michigan. Now that will arrive just in time for the evening commute. Keep in mind, you'll likely be running into rain. It does look like mainly rain at that point. Then once we get to the evening, overnight, that's when that transition to snow should occur. Snow chances will continue overnight and through the day tomorrow, we'll have that possibility of some lake enhancement. So plan on seeing some snow showers through the day Saturday. Looking at a few different forecast models here for Grand Rapids, you'll notice that most models put us in that half inch up to an inch and a half range through Saturday. I think for the most part, we'll end up around an inch or less in the Kent County area. But the southwest corner of the state especially could see some localized reports where those numbers are a little bit higher. So it's not impossible. Some areas could see that quick one to two inches of snow accumulation by the time we get to Saturday afternoon or Saturday evening. So this is going to be a cold weekend. Mid 40s this afternoon, we'll be in the 30s Saturday and Sunday, but our feels like temperatures are likely going to be in the upper teens or low 20s. Heading into Monday, that looks like our best chance of seeing a dry day with some sunshine, but highs will only be in the upper 30s. I wish we had a big warm up that we could look forward to. I think the biggest warm up we'll see is potentially 48 on Wednesday. Uh, and that warm up, if you want to call it that, will be accompanied by some more chances of rain and snow. I guess I'm, I'm liking the partial sun icon on yeah. Monday, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> and if you look outside right now, some areas are seeing a little bit of blue sky. So, hey, tonight is our first 8 p.m. sunset in a long time. All There's right. your silver lining. There I've been go. trying to find one all day because this is kind of a gloomy <laughs> forecast. 8 p.m. sunset today. We always find the silver lining. We always try, yes. Thanks, Emily.